All right, what is up? So uh, most of you probably know that I bought this uh, drone not too long ago. And uh, so I was looking around online because I've been flying this little uh, this little SEMA. And I've crashed it several times, fixed it several times. <laughs> but uh, I was looking around on some information uh, have, about having to register the drone because that's like a thing that's become really big over the past two years. And uh, so apparently because of the weight of the new drone that I have, I had to register it and get a uh, what they call an operator license. It's like a pilot license kind of. But uh, it's like five bucks and then it lasts for three years and then you have to pay another five and then three more years. That's only if you are a hobbyist. Now, if you're doing it for business, there's actually a pretty big, um, it's a pretty big price tag on that. Which falls into some gray area with YouTube and videos and monetizing them and stuff like that. So, you know, it's whatever. But uh, the one thing I thought that was really weird about it, though, you know, even besides that, which doesn't make any sense why you would, you know, try to make more money off whether somebody was a hobbyist or they were doing it just to make a little extra money. Um, except for the, that's what the government does, you know. They just nickel and dime, you know. Governments are broke, so they, any way they can make money, they do. But uh, the one weird thing I, I found was the weight. How they uh, can tell if a drone, like uh, the weight of the drone kind of corresponds to whether you need an operator license or not. And um, this drone actually weighs a pretty good amount of, it's pretty heavy, so obviously it falls into that weight ratio. But um, the aircraft, if it weighs in between um, 0.55 pounds, which is 250 grams, which is very small, up to 55 pounds, then you have to get an operator license, which is very weird because that throws a lot of even the smaller drones that you would think that are like something that was a little bit bigger than this, because this definitely is right up under that. So. Um, the weird thing is that any of the drones, even the toys that are a little bit heavier than that, actually fall within that weight ratio. That means that you have to have an operator license to be able to fly it. If you are caught and uh, you don't happen to have that license written on the quad itself and the piece of paper saying, yes, this is my license to uh, fly this uh, unmanned air aircraft, the fines are like crazy high. I mean, you're talking like big, big money, which is crazy because these are a lot of these smaller quads that are even a little bit bigger than this are toys. They're just, you know, you know, they, I'm, I know that they can fly a certain amount of feet out. And people mod them to go really high. But it's just crazy that you would think that you would have to register a toy. And the weird thing about it is, like, there are going to be some people who don't really know about having to register these things. They might go out and just buy one for their, their kid, you know, and it's like, hey, happy birthday. Here's a little, little you know, quadcopter you can fly around. And the kid's flying it, you know, and gets caught, you know. They're going to get huge fines for this, which is crazy. And, um... It just seems to me just a bit ridiculous um, that the government is, is doing this, you know, and just it's just all about money. You know, they in the end, they're like, well, you know, it's to keep people from doing this, that, and the other. And I understand that some people are idiots and they're going to do stupid things like fly quads really close to people or over places where they're not supposed to be, you know, common sense things, you know, which I think they should just, you know, that should be something separate, you know. <laughs> but I don't know. This is very interesting. But yeah, so just some food for thought there. And if you have a quad or, you know, if your son has a quad, you need to keep that in mind. You know, any any copter that is above a certain weight ratio, you have to have a license to fly it, even in your front yard. <laughs> Ridiculous. You got to take it easy.